Samsung has unleashed a beast that redefines smartphone performance, driven by the all-new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip, built on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process with the new Orion CPU architecture. The Prime Core now hits speeds up to 4.6 GHz, pushing performance beyond anything we've seen before. In early Geekbench tests, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 scores around 3,831 in single core and 12,459 in multi core, showing a massive jump over last year's Gen 3. That's flagship level power across both raw speed and multitasking. On the GPU side, the new Adreno architecture brings a 20-23% to performance boost while using about 20% less power. That means smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, and far fewer drops during long gaming sessions. The upgraded Hexagon NPU is about 35-37% to faster, making on-device AI, camera processing, and real-time upscaling much more efficient. In real-world use, you can expect lightning-fast app launches, ultra-smooth multitasking, and professional-grade video editing, all while keeping better thermals and battery life. So if these numbers hold true, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 could make the Galaxy S26 Ultra one of the most powerful smartphones ever built. We finally have the first real look at the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra and it's absolutely stunning. These new images give us the clearest view yet of Samsung's next big flagship. And yes, it's bringing a color that's turning everyone's heads. According to Tipster Sample, these are the final design leaks of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, showcasing three elegant finishes, silver, gold, and the all-new Cosmic Orange. And that's where the real shot comes in. Samsung's Cosmic Orange looks bold, premium, and incredibly refined, a shade that instantly separates it from every other phone on the market. The matte finish gives it a luxury feel, and a tone perfectly complements that clean titanium frame. According to the latest leaks, Samsung is testing software for the Galaxy S26 Edge and S26 Ultra, confirming that both will launch with One UI 8.5 based on Android 15. The Galaxy S26 Ultra, model number is SMS948X, has started firmware testing across multiple regions. S948 NKSU 0 AVA5 South Korea, S948 USQ 0 AVA5 G6 US carrier variant. S948 U1 UU0 AYJ5 US unlock variant. S948 BX U0 AVJ5 global version. According to tipster Anthony, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is packing some serious upgrades under the hood. He mentions the best anti reflective layer, class leading performance, vapor chamber cooling, and more all packed inside an 8.2mm titanium frame. That's an impressive combination, especially when you realize that Samsung is managing to keep the body sleek while improving thermal management and durability at the same time. Titanium is already known for being strong and lightweight, but pairing it with advanced cooling and a reflective layer means the phone isn't just tough. It's optimized for performance and comfort during long gaming or productivity sessions. And that's not all. Anthony also revealed what might be one of the biggest visual and usability upgrades, the touch sampling rate. He claims the S26 Ultra will jump from 240 hertz to an incredible 3000 600 hertzes, which is an insane leap forward. For context, a higher touch sampling rate means every tap, swipe, and gesture feels almost instantaneous perfect for gamers, artists, and anyone who values precision. Going from 240 hertzes to 3000, 600 hertzes isn't just an upgrade, it's a whole new level of responsiveness that will make the S26 Ultra feel buttery smooth in every interaction. And while we're talking about visuals, another exciting reveal came from Chandon, who shared a look at the Galaxy S26 Ultra in a stunning new cosmic orange color. The matte finish, combined with that vibrant orange hue, makes it stand out in a world of dull black and silver devices. And honestly, it looks so clean and premium that even he said it certainly looks better than the iPhone 17 Pro Max. If that's the final color Samsung goes with, it might just become one of the most popular shades of the year. The S26 Ultra might just set a new standard for flagship smartphones in 2025. According to the latest reports, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature Samsung's brand new M14 old panel, supporting a blazing 144Hz HUHD Plus refresh rate along with 3200Hz touch sampling. It also comes with Dolby Vision and HDR10+. When it comes to brightness, Samsung has raised the bar yet again. The panel can hit 2600 nits full brightness, while HDR content pushes it all the way to a massive 6000 nits peak brightness. On top of that, there's a brand new privacy display feature called Flex Magic Pixel for extra control and security, and a much better anti-reflective layer for crystal clear outdoor visibility. Meanwhile, Anthony pointed out that 6000 nit peak brightness plus a better anti-reflective layer and new privacy display is going to make the Galaxy S26 Ultra a monster in display. 
In short, the Galaxy S26 Ultra Display is shaping up to be a true monster and could set a brand new benchmark for smartphone screens, with leaks pointing to a new privacy display feature coming to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Instead of depending on third-party screen protectors or bulky add-ons, Samsung appears to be building privacy protection straight into the phone's hardware and software. A recent leak from One UI 8.5 shared by Anna Chultra on X offers the first clear preview of how this feature will function. It's essentially a full system of settings designed to keep private content out of sight from anyone nearby. Based on leaked screenshots, users will be able to control the strength of the effect and decide when it activates. Samsung is preparing automatic triggers that can recognize crowded environments, like buses, trains, or cafes, and then reduce the screen's side view visibility. The settings also include a custom conditions menu, which allows you to create your own rules. For example, you can set privacy to turn on automatically when opening banking apps or when entering a PIN on the lock screen. Leaks further suggest that the privacy display will let users decide which parts of the screen remain fully visible while dimming or blurring others. Notifications, pit windows, lock screen fields, and sensitive photos can all be hidden, with an additional maximum privacy mode that makes the display even harder to read from angles. The system relies on Flex Magic Pixel technology, likely enhanced by AI, to adjust pixels in real time and prevent unwanted viewing. And now Ice Universe shared a post on X, confirming that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will include the S Pen with a fresh, stylish functionality. The notable update is that just like the S24 Ultra, it will support all Bluetooth features, along with a few new capabilities that have not yet been revealed. There have been a string of leaks that suggest it's not something to worry about. The S Pen chamber can be made out very clearly in one of those leaks, providing a level of surety to fans that at least next year's flagship phone will retain the S Pen. In another post, I shared Samsung plans to urgently restart the Galaxy S26 Plus project. Due to the S25 edges below expected sales and the bleak future of the iPhone Air, Samsung has decided to revive the S26 Plus model. It's ridiculous. Samsung is now a pure speculator, with no independent vision following Apple's lead. As a result, it had been led into a trap by Apple and forced to urgently revise their plans. It's ridiculous. Two days ago, Android Headlines released renders of the S26 Ultra. Using these renders as a reference, we applied professional tools to generate images of the device. While not completely precise, they offer a close visual approximation. Let's take a look. Reports suggest the Galaxy S26 Pro will retain its familiar setup with a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 10 megapixel 3x super camera, though there are whispers of a new main sensor being tested. The big shakeup may come with the Galaxy S26 Edge, which could replace the Plus model. It might skip a dedicated zoom camera, but will reportedly see a major upgrade to its ultra wide lens, jumping from 12 megapixel on the S25 Edge to 50 megapixel. At the top, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to carry forward the same ISOCELL HP2 200 megapixel primary sensor, along with a 50 megapixel ultra wide and 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. The secondary 10 megapixel 3x zoom lens might stay the same, though an upgrade hasn't been ruled out. Overall, Samsung appears to be betting more on AI-powered image processing and software optimizations rather than making huge leaps in camera hardware, a move that may not sit well with fans hoping for bigger changes. Here we have the first look of the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra thanks to renders published by the folks over at Android Headlines. The design will be instantly recognizable. Like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the S26 Ultra maintains a flat frame with rounded corners. The device is expected to measure 7.9 millimeters in thickness, with the camera island extending about 4.5 millimeters from the body. This means the phone will likely wobble slightly when placed on a flat surface, something common in Samsung flagships, though only a centrally placed camera island can fully avoid it. The S Pen is also shown in the renders, located at the very edge of the bottom left corner. This adjustment appears to be a result of the slimmer build compared to the S25 Ultra, which was 8.2 millimeters thick. As a consequence, the S Pen's back end, often referred to as the clicker, has been redesigned. It's no longer flat as an earlier leak indicated. Those expecting a bold redesign may be left underwhelmed. The Galaxy S26 Ultra may not introduce major exterior changes, it could stand out in actual use. Reports suggest it will feature Samsung's most advanced OLED display yet. Already seen on a rival device, this panel is rumored to provide much higher brightness levels and richer colors. Samsung is also reportedly testing a new privacy mode that narrows viewing angles 
helping keep on-screen content private from those nearby. A new deal with South Korea's MCNEX will bring a fresh-folded zoom module replacing Sunny Opticals, which previously supplied the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but faced quality and supply chain problems. Both models were widely criticized for underwhelming 5x zoom performance compared to Chinese rivals and industry insiders suggest Sunny Opticals' issues were the root cause. By shifting supply to MCNEX, Samsung aims to finally resolve these problems and deliver a sharper telephoto experience. The company is also developing a new all-lenses-on-prism ALOP technology that functions like a periscope camera but takes less internal space, though it's uncertain whether this will debut with the S26 Ultra. Overall, the shift in suppliers signals Samsung's effort to restore consumer confidence in its Ultra flagship's zoom capabilities while strengthening its supply chain stability. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.